If I pretend to myself that I'm different from the way I truly am, I'm going to make choices that won't make me happy. Focus not on doing less or doing more, but on doing what you value. Turns out that people who try new things, go new places, learn new skills, are happier. This can be tough because novelty and challenge also bring frustration and irritation. But if you can push through that, novelty and challenge can bring enormous happiness rewards. Negative emotions like loneliness, envy, and guilt have an important role to play in a happy life. They're big, flashing signs that something needs to change. Enthusiasm is more important to mastery than innate ability. It's about living in the moment and appreciating the smallest things. Surrounding yourself with the things that inspire you and letting go of the obsessions that want to take over your mind. It is a daily struggle sometimes and hard work but happiness begins with your own attitude and how you look at the world. Happiness comes not from having more, not from having less, but from wanting what you have. Sometimes I succeed, sometimes I fail, but every day is a clean slate and a fresh opportunity. When I thought about why I was sometimes reluctant to push myself, I realized that it was because I was afraid of failure, but in order to have more success, I needed to be willing to accept more failure. I am living my real life, this is it. Now is now, and if I waited to be happier, waited to have fun, waited to do the things that I know I ought to do, I might never get the chance. The things that go wrong often make the best memories. To take out the most happiness from an experience, we must anticipate it, savor it as it unfolds, express happiness, and recall a happy memory. One of the best ways to make yourself happy is to make other people happy. One of the best ways to make other people happy is to be happy yourself. One of the best ways to make yourself happy in the present is to recall happy times from the past. Photos are a great memory prompt, and because we tend to take photos of happy occasions, they weigh our memories to the good. Being taken for granted is an unpleasant but sincere form of praise. Ironically, the more reliable you are and the less you complain, the more likely you are to be taken for granted. Contemporary research shows that happy people are more altruistic, more productive, more helpful, more likable, more creative, more resilient, more interested in others, friendlier, and healthier. Happy people make better friends, colleagues, and citizens. Don't let the perfect be the enemy of the good. Lower the bar. Actually spending 10 minutes clearing off one shelf is better than fantasizing about spending a weekend cleaning out the basement.